Good morning everyone and welcome to Wonderful Friday. It's actually uh, Christmas Eve. So what I'm doing today is this is the third part of my 1111 haul and it's the dies. So I'm going to show you the dies but I'm also going to run off after make another video and use some of those dies, stamps or stencils that I've shown you in the previous two and come back in about an hour with another video. So that's what I'm going to do because I think just, you know, showing the stuff isn't good enough really, is it? You know? And if I'm taking a few days off, I've got to get some crafting in. Right, so... I'll go straight into the dies, share those with you, uh, put all of the links below and... Um, the first I wanted to share are these three. These are little mushrooms, little wildflowers and little windows. Now there's a reason I purchased those and I'm going to grab my older envelope and I'm going to share why. Right, let's make sure that I'm getting all the correct ones out. Now you might remember, probably a month ago, I did a video for Panelisa where I used mushrooms. Well, these were the mushrooms that I used and I watercolored them and put some glitter paste on. But you see those, that is the miniature version. So that's why I got those because these are great for cards and for planner pages and what have you. But those are going to be great for cards as well and also ATCs. So they are absolutely identical. They're just a miniaturized version. So I had to get the mushrooms. Now put that over to one side and the window. The window is absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for an ATC or for a greeting card. You can cut a couple of those in. But there's the daddy version. There's mommy and there's daddy. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? So the layer for this one um, is actually behind the die because I trimmed it off. But they're exactly the same. Exactly the same, just a miniaturized version. So that's why I had to get that one. And I'll put that one there. And then the wildflowers... That is the full size version and that is the miniature version. So if I grab that little bit there and put it there, you can see these are that. I hope my reflection's not too bad. I'm trying to find those little starry ones. Yeah, the six starry ones and there they are there. They're just sort of like in a different configuration. It's just when I saw them, I thought... <laughs> Am I seeing things? And I thought, no, they're miniatures. So I just had to have them. So now I've got the big ones and I've got the baby ones. So I'm absolutely over the moon about that. Right. And um, if I can find the big ones, I'll link the big ones. And I'll also link the small ones and just put small or big next to each link. So that, you know, if you like to do that kind of thing too, um, you'd be able to go there. Right. Now into my hall proper. And I got these numbers, which are uh, Christmas numbers, if you want them to be. They come with a star and a tree. Take the tree away. The star could be used for a birthday number. But those are gorgeous. They cut out and the numbers just kind of like cling to the sides. Can't really tell that much difference by flipping them over. But I got those. And if I can drag my ruler out without dropping everything... I will have a quick measure and they're roughly uh, one and a half inches. So I've got some numbers. I've got the sweetest little star frame and this is a miniature and now I'm going to hunt for the big one. So this is the baby one and I will go hunting for the big one. So the baby one is two and a quarter 
and this one I think is the one that I'm going to run away and turn into something and that is the car you've got um, little frames that go with it a little bow you've got the big bow that ties the Christmas tree to the top of the car and you've just got lots of gorgeous elements so I'm going to move that to the side and I think that's what I'm going to run off and do and then I got these now there's a bigger version of this that I need to find and they cut little brick walls um, apertures into your cards so you just lay those on top run your card stock through cut it down to the size that you want it and um, put a piece behind and you've got your little brick wall effect going on so I'm going to find the bigger version because of course that can be used on an ATC as well and then I went envelope mad oh before I go envelope mad I got myself some more clips now if you watch my video I think it's probably about four months ago I hauled the giant version of these clips and they're absolutely awesome you just cut them out and push those bits and stick them on top of a project or to hold a piece of ephemera or something on a card and they look really realistic if you do some paint effects and some pattern effects on them so those are huge clips and they'll fold over you can also because they're connected use them as tabs on your planner for turning your pages and uh, if you use um oh i'm trying to think of the name of the paper i know that sizzix and stamperia do it i think it's called stone paper uh, then you can cut them with that and color and ink them and they won't tear so you know you can cut them and they'll be permanent on a project right envelopes yes i had to have them all <laughs> so i got four sets and this is one of the things that ephemera that i showed you yesterday you can cut out a little um, christmas card and pop it in an envelope pop it onto the front of a card with a sentiment and you've made a card do you know what i mean but they're also going to be valentine's lovey dovey cards and i can do little teeny weeny ones because each one comes with its own card and you've got rectangles and of course that one is a square but they're all different sizes so I've got them all and you've got different stitching like you've got larger stitching and dash stitching and this is dotty stitching and there is words in there I think that says with love that makes a change for me to read something back to front and I think that one might say the same thing no maybe not I think it might say love you Oh, miss you. Right, so the one says miss you and the other one says love you. But I've got all of those gorgeous envelopes going right down to teeny little baby ones. So really love those. And then I got myself some um, frames. These are Polaroid frames. And if you saw the ones that I hauled in the summer, they came with uh, words embossed in them. These are similar size, but with these, you just die cut them and then lay the piece that you want to emboss into there or die cut that little heart out and they will do that. So you've got coffee, you've got ice cream, you, smile, star, story, love and enjoy. And then, of course, the little heart, but it goes right down to that teeny tiny one just really really sweet so that's my set of polaroid frames and then i got myself a gift card holder so you've got a lovely scallop one there but of course you don't always have to use things like this for gifts get my language out for gift cards you can also use them for your atcs so you know another use right and i've got some circle frames and this is the small version and there is a big version out there so you've got that little dash and that little circle just really really cute so you've got the inners and the outies so you can see you can put um just a plain frame layer on top 
And then next up, I've got this gorgeous bird and flower set. And it comes with different words, which I haven't got a clue what it says. I think it says tweet or sweet or something. There's musical notes and there's little balls and ornaments that can become part of the flowers. And the bird can sit on it. And of course, if I can find that, I will link it. It's a huge set. And then I had to get some little houses because houses cut in little pastel colours for any card or you can just cut these pieces in white and you've got a row of houses for Christmas with little white roofs. So they're just really, really sweet. And then I got myself a tulip. Now, I believe this one is the small version of the tulip and there is one twice the size of this if I can find them both then I will link them you do find with some sellers that they'll do small things or they'll do big things and then I got myself another envelope which has got this little scallop flap on it and then you've got the little scallop inserts which is really cute I don't actually know if that would um, fit a gift card I don't think it would so I'm just going to measure it. It's three and an eighth. I don't think that's big enough. And then if we go there to there, two and an eighth. So that's the size of that one. You can see I went envelope mad. And then I went ticket mad. And I've got a strip of tickets. So I've got the smaller long ones. And then I've got them going that way. Of course, you don't have to tear them apart. You can just stamp on them and keep them whole and stick them down on a planner page if you want to. And the size of those, you can hear I'm losing my voice, <laughs> is I'd say seven and a half inches. So that's how big the tickets are. And then I've got this gorgeous little jar that builds up. You use this bit here and this bit and then you cut three jars and they will slot into the tab so that it's dimensional. And then there's a little tag and all of the flowers to put inside that little jar. So I thought that was really cute. So I got that one. And now I'm going into an envelope to find other stuff. And hopefully I'm getting it all out. And I got myself a fern leaf because you know you can never have enough florals and leaves really because they just make great things on your cards i've got a skeleton leaf which is going to look really nice all inked up i've got a little rose that comes with two frames and then you get the layering base piece and i just think that that is really really cute that you can just layer it up just a real simple one and then I've got a watering can, well, two watering cans and a tree. So you get the outer of the tree and you get the inner so you can alter the colours of it. And then you've got these little bits here that you can pop onto your tree to sort of build it up dimensionally as if it's got leaves on it. And then I got myself a sycamore leaf, which has an outline and it's embossed so you can cut a plain one or you can just pop this bit in to emboss one. And then I've got another set of little frames or like draw labels, which is really cute. They always look nice on the front of albums. And then I've got a teeny tiny fern leaf. And I do have the giant version of that, which is probably, oh, give it a rough guesstimate. I'd say six inches, the full size version of that one is. And then I've got these gorgeous little frames that are a little bit random. They're all kind of like decorated. And then I've got the pointing finger. And then I've got the ampersand. And then I've also got another really, really cute frame. Really like that. And then I've got myself a clock because sometimes you just need one. And that comes with the hands and that's really nice. And then I got myself a set of windows 
these are smaller windows I don't think these come any bigger than this if they do I'll get them and what you do is you get the frame and then you can cut out whichever um, insert you want like it will cut two of each when you cut those out you'll get a shutter and you'll get a window pane so if you run that through twice you've got your glass pieces and then you've got your shutters to pop on the outside and the same with this you've got this sort of like Moroccan window and then a regular window pane or you've got the dots and the diamonds so when you run this through you'll be left with the apertures and you can just slot whichever you want inside of your window frames and they're really nice and then those big numerals I showed you before these aren't matching but it's kind of like a small version if you want to pop them on paper clips or just onto a page tab for your planner that's a better picture and they're really sweet uh, let's have a look they are a quarter no they are a half an inch across so they're really cute and then I got myself these, which I think are absolutely fabulous. They cut out a frame and then they cut out a stencil type number into them. Now you can buy things already made like this and they're not cheap. So there you can see what they look like from behind. But it's just going to be really nice to have those. Great on paper clips or just for tucking on anything. Great to do a number 14 for Valentine's Day, etc. 25 for Christmas, 31. We all know what that is. Halloween-y. Just gorgeous. And the individual size of each one of those stencil numbers is an inch by three quarters of an inch. Just absolutely love those. In fact, I'm going to put those on the pile so I can cut those out and do that with that car. Right, now I'm going into another envelope. See what I've got in here. Ah, yes. I've got a planner pocket which can be folded in half to make a mini journal or it can go all the way along and be um, a journal page. You've got a little cut out there that looks like a keyhole. You've got hello, you've got love, you've got this. And then this die, I don't know if you remember that set of stamps I showed yesterday, which were tabs. They will actually fit on here. I did look at that earlier. So I've got the planner pocket. And then I've got myself some um, memory decks and planner edges so that you can just put that onto anything and make your own memory decks. You can put a row of stitching. You've got this piece here that will take the, um, oh, what do you call them? <laughs> the journal discs. That's what that is. So that's um, going to cut a disc for you, the mushroom shape. So you can get your discs in. And then you can put your spiral binder in or you can sew. Or you can basically do whatever you want. But it's just nice to have things like that so that you can turn anything you want into a book or a memory decks and it can save you an awful lot of money to just take all the shapes that you've already got and just add those things to them right next up is a kind of crisscross stitch that's what that cuts out and then you would glue that on and there's also another ribbon that comes with it so you know like when you lace up a corset that's the effects that you get from that and I got that because I thought it would look really nice down a book spine, as well as other things, of course. Because if you've got um, two pieces of card that are shorter than your base layer, then you can lay that across and it will look like your two pieces of card are laced up. So I really like that. It's quite feminine. And then I did get myself a memory dex, but I just loved the edge shape on it. So I got that one and it comes with two layering pieces. And then I got myself a really sweet little gingerbread man. And if this one is still available, I'll link it. It's quite a nice size. It's four and a half inches. So he's really cute. And then I got myself a pair of lovey dovey swans, which are really sweet. And if I go from the nose to the tail, I'm going to say two and a quarter inches, to be fair, each swan. 
So that's how long those are. And they come with really pretty flowers and leaves and crowns. And you've also got the beak pieces so that you can layer those up in a different colour. And then I also got a branch, which is supposed to be a kind of like autumn winter branch. Um, but I'll put flowers on it and decorate the whole thing up for spring or summer. And then I've got some teeny tiny little ornaments and snowflakes. I like these. They're quite sort of chubby chunky looking. And there's the little hangers. And I've also got three stars in that set. And then I got myself a lantern, which is, I'll hold it that way, a really nice size and comes with a candle. This is great for using um, the ephemera, like the Creative Paths Merry Suite, which comes with a lot of lantern ephemera with it. That is five and a quarter inches, so a gorgeous size. And then I got myself a poinsettia that layers up and cuts out. And there's also holly with that and berries. So I've got that one and that's a nice size. And I think I've got one envelope left. So here goes. Drag everything out. Make sure I've got it all. And first up is a lily. Because, of course, lilies, you can do them however you want to, but they're just great for Easter. I do like Easter lilies, and that's a really nice size. So measuring the size of this lily, and I don't know if it's still available. If, Like I say, if anything is, it will all be linked below. And that is, to be fair, almost two and three quarters. And then going across, I'm going to say three and a half. So that's the size of the lily. And the whole thing layers up. And then I got myself a little um, film slide frame. I do love things like this. I just think they're really, really cute. They're just gorgeous additions to add anywhere. And the cut line to the cut line is one and three quarters on that one. And then I was super excited to see this because it is a canning jar. You know, the, um, the half pint or the jelly jars. And it looks just like a canning jar. So it's not very often that you see one that actually looks like a jelly jar like that. So I was really pleased. So you get the um, top and the bottom and you can make it a shaker as well if you want to. But the size of that one is, let's have a look, two and a half inches. So that's how big, I'm going to call it a jelly jar. And... Um, you will start to see a lot of real sort of like retro scrapbooking um, papers and stuff coming back out again. You know, like the carrots and peas images that you always got when they were in canning jars and stuff like that. Real nice stuff from the 80s, the 70s, the 80s and the 90s. I can just see it all coming back and um, things like that are just going to look gorgeous with it. And then more jars, as if I don't have enough jars, because I do have quite a collection, and that is the hanging mason jar. You know, you can get the loops to clip them up. So you can put fireflies, or you can put um, a little stamp of a cactus, or anything in that. And you've got the hangy section, and then you get the tiny little baby one. And so without the hangy loop, the jar is two and three quarters this piece would layer onto here. So two and three quarters and one and a quarter is what? Four inches. That would be the finished size of the hanging jar. Whew, I've been talking for 23 minutes. You know, I don't talk really. <laughs> I live in silence. And a tiny little set of frames, but I just loved that little dash detail. Now, I am pretty sure that there is a full-size version of this, but I went for the small size because I really like it. And all of the pieces layer up, and it's two and three-quarter inches. And then a snow globe. I had to get this. This is a gorgeous little snow globe, and the height of that is three and a quarter, and it will make a shaker too. And then I got myself another slide frame, this time a rectangle shaped one. I just love things like this. I love all the details because 
it's kind of like almost original to the real film slides that you would get. This is perhaps a little bit bigger, I don't know, but just all these little dents and things that used to slot into the machinery to slide along. That's three and three quarter inches. And then I've got myself a Happy Xmas, which is large. So flipped over that way, you can see. So Happy Xmas, Happy Christmas. And the big one is four inches. And then the height of that is three and a quarter inches. And then I've got myself some circles, which are ornaments, but I can also use those circles. Oh, I've gone blurred independently. I thought it wasn't all blurred while I was wittering away. But um, yeah, the sun is coming through. Oh, but they're all pretty, like little dots and um, in-out scallops, which is really sweet. And there was something I wanted to tell you, and that is that if you've got a circle frame or if you chose to just use the outside of the ornament, take out this scallop and that scallop and cut them. And what you'll have is a piece of rickrack which will fit back on top of the ornament. You can then use your peachy keen stamps. Let's see if I can do it. I'm going to go in close and then I'm going to come away. That's probably as good as I'm going to get. And I hope you can see that shape there. It will create a piece of rickrack ribbon that you can lay down on your ginger coloured ornament and stamp your peachy keen cute face and you'll have made a gingerbread ornament. Now that's why I got these but also you can layer them up to look like an, a vintage style indent ornament. So that's just a, a little bit of me telling you that you can, you know, turn that into a great little gingerbread ornament or tag for next year. I might try and do that actually. Yeah, let me put that on the pot. I'll go away and I will do that. Yeah. And then I've got a set of circles which can be used all year round. All different shapes, stripes, geometrics. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this set and I love this set of little frames that all of these can just layer onto. So if I go to the biggest and do the outer frame, we are looking at three and a quarter inches. So just going to be absolutely wonderful. You can have little things peeking out from there. And then I've got the same thing, but for stars. And the biggest one there is three and a half. And then I've got the same thing for triangles. And these can also be Christmas trees. If you can see if you put them like that, if you want something that's a bit more trendy, like a chevron tree or something, I better do the nesting set because that's the biggest. Four and three quarter inches is the largest one. And then I've got some borders. So I've got this gorgeous snowflake border. And it's quite large actually. So if I get my ruler down it, it's nine and three quarter inches long. So that's completely going to cover your slim line. And I got myself a kissy one, which is the same length. So that's a great one for Valentine's Day. You've got all the kisses there and you've got the layering piece. And now I'm down to my final two. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Whoops. There goes my dogs. And I've got a birch tree background, which is quite cute. And I will measure that. So that is almost five and a half inches. And then the width of that is just under four and a quarter inches, but it's a little bit over an eighth. So that I got as a birch tree background. And then I've got this stitched swirly one. So you've got wind and you've got hills. You can do that bit green or it can be water and sea. So that will actually fit on top of that. So they are exactly the same size right so that only took 28 minutes so yeah <laughs> so i've got these that i'm going to take away so i'm going to try and make a christmas card with that collection and use all of them 
I'm going to cut these out and use them and I'm going to go away and do a gingerbread ornament and come back and show you exactly what I meant. So looking at those, I think you probably need to give me an hour <laughs> if I work at rapid speed. So we're at 7.30 a.m. now. So let's say my next video will upload at 10 a.m. That's what I'm going to do. And then with that video, I'm going to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Right. I thank you so much for watching. Hopefully the links for all these are below and I'll be back up shortly. Bye.